Hi, I'm Sir Oliver, your online math tutor. Hello mga kamathmate! Hashtag Team Math Talino. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Kung bago ka pa lang sa channel ko, wag, wag mo kalimutan mag-subscribe at i-hit mo na yung bell button para updated ka every time na mag-post ako ng bagong video. Panibagong video, panibagong topic na naman ang pag-aaralan natin ngayon tungkol sa slope of a line. Pero, gagamit tayo ng slope formula. So, what you will learn, find the slope of a line given two points using the slope formula. To find the slope of a line through two given points, we use the formula slope denoted by small letter m equals y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. So, pinakita ko doon sa last video ko yung derivation kung paano natin nakuha yung formula na ito. Just a short trivia, a slope is denoted by m came from a French word monter, which means to climb. Kaya pala siya dinenote na M. Ang ibig sabihin pala nun ay monter. But still, there are arguments pa rin na yung iba ay hindi naniniwala na ang ibig sabihin ng M ay monter. Yung iba naniniwala na ito ay modulus. You may search why slope denoted by M for other information. about the slope. So, let's have an example. So, example 1, find the slope of a line that passes through 4, 5, and 2, 1. So, we have here two given points which are 4, 5, and 2, 1. So, we have x sub 1, yung ating 4 ay x sub 1, yung 5 ay y sub 1, Yung ating 2 ay x sub 2 at yung ating 1 ay y sub 2. Take note, pwede pong magkabaliktad yung ating dalawang ordered pairs at pwede nating i-label si 2, 1 as x sub 1 and y sub 1. So, let's have the solutions. We're going to use the slope formula and then we just substitute all the values. So, ang ating y sub 2 ay 1 minus our y sub 1 is 5. And then, how about the denominators? Denominator, rather. So, our x sub 2 is 2 minus our x sub 1 is 4. So, we just substituted all the values. Then, 1 minus 5 is negative 4. 2 minus 4 is negative 2. Okay, then, negative 4 divides negative 2. So, negative divides negative is positive. 4 divides 2 is 2. Therefore, our slope is positive 2. So, let's have example 2. Find the slope of a line that passes through negative 4, 4, and negative 7, 2. So, we will do the same process as example 1. So, x sub 1, y sub 1, ayan po, nilabel natin. And then, the second order pair would be x sub 2, y sub 2. So, we will be using the slope formula and then we just substitute all the values. So, our y sub 2 is positive 2 minus y sub 1 is positive 4. Over, our x sub 2 is negative 7 minus our x sub 1 is negative 4. So, we just... Uh, put parenthesis. And then, negative times negative is positive. So, mag po yung ating sign. Then, 2 minus 4 is negative 2. And then, negative 7 plus 4 is negative 3. And then, simplify. So, negative divides negative is positive. Therefore, our final answer is 2 thirds. Okay, so that will be our final answer. So our fraction is already in reduced form. Okay, again, take note if our answer is fraction, so make it in lowest term. So let's move to example number three. So find the slope of a line that passes through 8, 5, and negative 3, 5. And then we're going to use again the slope formula in finding the slope of two points. Po, yung ating x sub 1 ay 8 yung ating y sub 1 ay 5 yung ating x sub 2 ay negative 3 at ang ating y sub 2 ay 5 okay, so let us substitute all the values 
in our given formula. Okay? So, your y sub 2 is 5. And then, your y sub 1 is 5. So, therefore, 5 minus 5 over negative 3 minus 8. Okay? Equals 0. 5 minus 5 is 0 over negative 3 minus 8. So, it's negative 11. Therefore, our final answer is 0. If you have the same values of y, the slope is 0. Pinakita ko lamang yung solution, pero kapag napansin nyo na ang ating y values ay magkatulad automatic, our final answer or the answer is 0. Tandaan nyo yan ha, same y, the slope is 0. So, ganun lamang po kadali. So, let's have another example. So, for our example 4, find the slope of a line that passes through negative 1, 4, and negative 1, 8. So, we have x sub 1, y sub 1 for our first ordered pair. And then, we have x sub 2, y sub 2 for our second ordered pair. And then, we're going to use the formula. And then, we just substitute all the values. So, your y sub 2 is 8. And then, your y sub 1 is 4 over your x sub 2 is negative 1 and then your y x sub 1 is negative 1 and then negative times negative it will become positive therefore 8 minus 4 is 4 then negative 1 plus 1 or 1 minus 1 is 0 so the answer is undefined because division by 0 is not allowed if you have the same values of x, kapag naman parehas yung values ng x katulad dito, parehas silang negative 1, ang ating slope is undefined. Again, same x or same values of x, the slope is undefined. So, do not forget that. Again, same y, 0, same x is undefined. So, for our last example, so we, I, I have given you uh, a more complex problem wherein our order pair contains a fraction. So, for our first ordered pair, x sub 1 is negative 1 half and for y sub 1 is positive 4. And for our next ordered pair, you have negative 1 is our x sub 2. And then for our y sub 2 is 5 thirds. Okay, ang una kong ginawa, I just substitute all the values. That is 5 thirds minus 4 over negative 1 minus negative 1 half. Again, nilagay ko sa parenthesis yung negative 1 half. And then it will become positive. So, dun muna tayo sa my numerator. So, since magsusubtract tayo ng dissimilar fraction, we just get the LCD which is 3. So, copy natin yung 5. Then, 3 times 4 is 12. So, that's why it will become 5 minus 12 over 3. Again, nakuha yung uh, ginawa natin sa numerator. Doon naman tayo sa denominator. Adding the similar fraction that is over 2 and then that is the LCD and then we just multiply 2 times negative 1 is negative 2 then we just copy positive 1 okay dun ulit tayo sa numerator 5 minus 12 over 3 just subtract the numerator 5 minus 12 is negative 7 and then copy the denominator so that will be the difference how about the sum of the denominator so negative 2 plus 1 is negative 1 and then you just copy the denominator over 2. So therefore, negative 7 over 3 all over negative 1 over 2. Then after that, division of fractions, we just get the reciprocal of the denominator. So what is the reciprocal of negative 1 half? It's negative 2 over 1. Then we just multiply numerator and numerator and denominator and denominator. We will get 14 over 3. Negative times negative, by the way, is positive. So, yun lamang po yung pagkuha ng slope gamit yung slope formula. So, I have given you five examples. So, for your activity, I want you to find the slope of the line through. Number one is 1, 1, and 3, 4. For number 2, 8, negative 2, 8, 10. For number 3, negative 5, 12, 5, negative 6. For number 4, 3, negative 4, 8, negative 4. And for the last item, 1 and 1 thirds and 5 over 6 and 2. You may pause the video for a while. Just get a piece of paper, copy and answer. And then uh, you will be checking your work later on. I will be revealing the final answer.
So here are our answers. So you may check your work. So for number one, we have three half, three halves. For number two, the answer is undefined. For number three, negative nine over five, or negative nine fifth. For number four, zero, and then for number five. You have negative 10. So I hope that you got it all correctly. So once again, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe para updated ka sa mga bago kong video na ipopost. Goodbye mga